pack of gum. Well, what about that bottle of tequila you got stashed in the back of your pants? And I'm so ripped off, and I don't know what to do. And I don't care, you know? So I look at this guy, right? I give him this long stare, man. And I do exactly what I feel like doing, man. I rapped all over the counter. <laughs> the guy was so freaked out, he only chased me like a couple of blocks before he gave up. Hey, look at Koufax over there. Look at him. Yeah? What about him? Man, he's had it too good for too long, man. Wizard, what are you doing? Look, I'm gonna go get some help. Just a bunch of animals, that's all they are. Not animals, children. Children with sharp toys? You know, the school has more gang fights than graduation. Hey, are you sure you're okay? My head hurts. It's nothing, it's, it's just a headache. You're late again. Well, my mother's car caught down. If the store ain't open by 10, the winos get twitchy. <laughs> what about you, Arthur? Yeah. Does your mother work at the same store? Why, right, just take your seat. <laughs> you guys are too much. Once again, the verb to be I am, you are, he, she, it is. I know. You mean, like, what it is? <laughs> Believe me, I get no pleasure in going over and over this. Grammar wasn't invented to confuse you. This is for your benefit, Theodore. It's wizard. Who says I need any of this? Hey, who needs any of this garbage? Yeah. No one. Unless you want a job, or to talk to someone from outside your own community. You know, Theodore, human beings are not particularly strong, or fast, or in some cases, even intelligent. All we have is communication. You like the way I communicated to you last night? <laughs> Grow up, Trojan. Trojan. Arthur! Yeah, what? I am trying to teach, now, and now if you're not interested in learning, why do you bother coming to school? Because I like your legs, baby. Oh. <laughs> Get your hands off the lady. Get your hands off me. You like it? Get your hands off me, lady. Insect. That's all you are. I'd like to break your wings, little bug. Hey, let me go, lady. Hey, knock it off. You know 
how many kids I had paying attention in last period? Three. You know, sometimes I wish I had the strength to just pick them up by their ears and say, listen here, you little degenerate. You know, I'm starting to wonder if maybe getting tough isn't the best way to get through. I mean, just yesterday. Having some trouble, young man? Hey, lady. How old is your grandmother? What? How old is your grandmother? Yes. 56. This school is 67 years old. That makes her worthy of a little respect, wouldn't you say? Uh, you respect your grandmother, don't you? Yes. Good. Then what do you say? We show this fine old institution a little respect. You know the combination to your locker? Uh -huh. Good. Use it. 30? Two? So one by one they struggled in, all that the sea would spare. We will not reckon through our tears the names that were not there. <laughs> Please turn that foghorn off. Why? Upside her head, man. I would love to smash her teeth down her throat, wizard, right? Right, man? Is that what you'd like to do? Yeah, man, I would love to, because she's. Then why don't you then? Huh? Why don't you just do that? No? Then what about you? I'm just. You I'm... what? It's just a bunch of talk. Both of you, give me that.
Wake up. You all right? Well, why didn't you kill me? I mean, you really could have killed me. I couldn't. I couldn't let that happen. Wizard. Well, thanks. No, I mean that. Thank you. Let me help you up. We are told damned places exist. Buildings where madness permeates the very bricks and mortar. We're told that sometimes dedication and kindness can purge the evil from those walls. This has merely been a story. Life isn't really like this, is it? A lesson to be learned in the study halls of the Twilight Zone? <laughs>